We have had an emphasis on health not only for our personal well-being, because that's a fairly selfish way of looking at things, but so that we can be of service. And one of the very important components of taking care of the body is because it is the temple of God. That is the motivating, the overriding issue related to health and our faith. There's a saying that at the end of every bad road, there's an Adventist institution. And our pioneers went out, the physicians, the healthcare givers, went out to the places where there was the greatest need to provide that need and start out where people didn't have help. It made a huge difference. People improve their standard of living, their cleanliness, their health improves, and their education level improves because not only were there hospitals and dispensaries, schools were established. And so a great need was met in areas where a great need existed. Interestingly, when you look per capita at the Seventh Adventist Church uh, demography, we have a very high per capita membership of health professionals in our church. And that may be related very much to the fact of our emphasis on health ministry and medical missionary work. And uh, I'm very glad for that because it means that every church could ultimately become a community health center. Not doing heart transplants, but being an area where good health information is disseminated and our health professionals are key to that function. Relationships are key. It's probably the most important reason that health services exist. Clearly, to save lives, to bring around about a better quality of life, to approach wholeness in body, mind and spirit. But the acceptance that comes when there is this no strings attached caring, where people come in and they share of themselves and when the church has been seen to be doing this, it has left a tremendously positive impression and grown relationships which have lasted in some areas over a hundred years now.